Hi, I'm Amy Castleton for this week's dairy update from NZX. Uh, first up are Fonterra's offer volumes for next week's global dairy trade event. This time around they haven't changed any volumes, uh, everything is as they previously forecast. However, in saying that, uh, the volumes that will be on offer are down significantly against the same time last year. Um, all of the main products, whole milk powder, skim milk powder, butter, AMF, are down around about 30% on the equivalent event last year. Um, to be a little bit more specific, whole milk powder is down 32%, skim's down 34%, butter's down 32%, and AMF is down 28% um, compared to the 2nd August event in 2020. Um, so it will be interesting to see how that plays out to the market. We have been expecting prices to be a bit more supported um, with the huge volumes of whole milk powder Fonterra had been taking off the platform for the last two events. Uh, last time we saw GDT go down 1% overall, uh, but that did incorporate a 3.8% decline in whole milk powder prices. Um, my expectations are that with no changes this time around, the market might feel a little bit more confident and um, things might be a little bit better supported. We'll see how that plays out next week. Um, also out recently has been export data from both the US and from Australia. Um, both regions exports were generally up on the same month last year. Um, for the states, that we saw a 7.4 increase in skim milk powder exports and that included a 28% increase in the volume they sent to Mexico. Whey exports were up 11%, uh, again that was driven by China, um, up 37% year on year. Uh, we did see a decline in cheese export volume, so those were down 13%, and this is the second month in a row in which we've seen cheese exports decline from the States. Um, this was driven for, for Joan, this was driven by an 11% decline in volumes that were sent to Mexico. Um, but there was also a decrease in volumes that were sent to Korea and to Japan. Uh, for Australia, we've seen their cheese exports increase 1.6% year on year for Joan. Um, however, their exports to, to Japan did decline by 22%. The volume was made up by China, Korea and Southeast Asia. Um, so Japan's obviously demanding a bit less cheese recently. Um, interesting to see how that will continue to play out. Um, Australia did see skim milk powder exports fall, so those were down 13%, and that was driven by a 5.8% decline in volume sent to China. Um, that's this week. We'll be back again next week with a GDT update. Thanks.